you serious? After the dumpster fire that was the reveal of the new Warriors, Marvel just decided to go one up on itself and released the Children of the Atom trailer on their official YouTube page. It's the X-Men book that nobody wanted. Apparently there's five new sidekicks for the X-Men and they are all new characters and the author has thought up uh, all the background information for these characters and it consists of uh, one of them having a TikTok, one of them making mutant music, another one is the uh, moderator for the mutant subreddit, another one has a fitness insta, and just, I don't, I don't know, the last one is a cosplayer, I... This, th these are the backstories, all right? So I looked up the author, and as you'd expect from a modern comic book uh, author for a big label like Marvel, the personal Twitter bio is non-binary, then they pronouns, uh, Latinx, queer, brown, whatever. I can't help but wonder why is it that these people are not capable of creating new characters. They're not capable of making anything original by themselves. All they can do is take the works of others and subvert it and project themselves onto it. Taking existing characters and race swapping, gender swapping, and essentially changing sexuality seems to be their main focus. Their characters are shallow, their stories are bland, and these cardboard cutouts they put out there are just not interesting enough to hold the attention of the comic book fans, as has been demonstrated on multiple occasions now, because people just don't buy the books. And they've had enough of the browbeating, enough of the insults, enough of the uh, sarcasm, the, the snarky behavior... Uh, the borderline online bullying that these people partake in. So, looking at these characters, there is absolutely nothing new about them. Setting aside the ridiculous background stories, I mean, TikTok, really? These characters are, as you can see, gender and race swaps, and there's probably at least one or two LGBTQ character out of the five. Here's where I'd like to note that comic book fans, the majority of us, we don't care about the gender, sexuality, or race of a character. We want respect for the original characters, and we want interesting stories and characters with depth. The characters these guys create, they're just not relatable characters. But I digress. So, looking at these characters, we have female Cyclops. There's your first gender swap. We have female Gambit, but there's more. Uh, female Gambit is a black woman. So, we have gender swap and race swap. Whatever uh, discount Nightcrawler, whatever that wrestler is supposed to be. I can't even tell the gender, and at this point, I don't think I even care. And we've got... Uh, Discount Angel over there, who is essentially a black dude who turns blue. So, race swap. That's all, that's all these authors do. The books are not selling. Comic book shops are experiencing an extinction level event at this point. And Marvel puts out the new warriors with safe space and Snowflake, and they put out Children of the, Oth of the Atom, which are essentially gender-swapped and race-swapped existing X-Men. It, it, <laughs> it's not even funny. It, it's not even funny at this point. These people are incapable of original creation. Yet, for some reason, they keep getting work, and they keep getting work on... Not just anything, but X-Men books and new titles and 
when did Marvel start hating money? This is this is the real question. At what point did Marvel say, "All right, we have to take all the fans we have, all the characters we have, and you have to drive them away, and we have to destroy them." <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go do something fun. This is this is just ridiculous. I'll see you around. This is just this is stupid. This is just so stupid. If you really snowflake in safe space. <laughs> I'll see you around. <laughs>